the chicken pen. I don't suggest you follow my safety practices and I suggest you follow your own safety practices. But this is my shop. So, you know, I know things can happen like that, but hey, like my plans? So simple, right? Most of my lumber comes, I have a guy that's in the next town over who uh, recycles shipping crates and that's where most of my lumber comes from. I get really good deals on it and if I can repurpose something. So I have, you guys want to know what kind of construction jobs I've had? Holy crap, this dude's been in construction all my life. I went to trade school for building construction and maintenance. Well, I went to the um, MCCTC, uh, Mahoney County Career and Tech Center when I was in high school for building construction and maintenance. My stepdad had a little side remodeling business while we were growing up and he had a wood shop where he did like custom furniture and all that kind of good stuff and uh yeah that's kind of where my woodworking came from. So I have worked for I worked for the Bricklayers Union for a while. I um and I was not a bricklayer. I was a uh my position was called a PCC. 
pointer, caulker, cleaner. I did a lot of pressure washing with acid and um, like cleaning up new masonry installation. Like when they lay up a new building. Um, and we would like seal the windows and all the joinery and do the caulking. Stuff like that. And uh, actually, I loved that job. The only reason I don't have it is because I got laid off. I got laid off. And then uh, the company I was working for called me back to work for two days the next season. And then let me go. And whether they can say it or not, I really feel that it's because, I mean, I'm a serious liability because I can, I fall all the time. And I know that they can't legally say stuff like that, but I really feel that that's what it was. And then, uh, after that job, I got into doing, um, the metal roofing. I did metal roofing for about a year and a half with a local company. Powering off. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was right up there on the roof with the rest of the crew. I was not on the ground. If I wasn't on the roof, I was on a ladder. To be honest, I'll climb trees all day long. I used to be a tree cutter. All after my surgeries too. Um, I used to be a tree cutter for a while. I'll climb trees all day long, but guys, being on a roof freaks me out. And then, uh, when I got done doing that is when I got got more into doing um, the antique restoration and um, I did rem I did my own remodeling thing for a while I, which was okay but to be honest I just that wasn't that wasn't really for me. I like doing my remodeling, but I don't like doing it for other people. And I think it's because I had to deal with other people. I did deck building for a while under my own name. And then, uh, oh, hey, my bit came out. And I actually decided one year that I was just going to take a break from it all because I wanted woodworking to be kind of a hobby instead of a job. So that's when I started working for the greenhouses for Bonnie Plants. And that, that job was, not was, is very stressful. And if it wasn't for the people that I worked with, I probably would not have ever went back to it. But I worked with an amazing group of people. And most of us have been returning for the last... Oh, this year would be my seventh or eighth year if you guys are like how are you building a chicken run so small um the chickens have a little bit of room in this rabbit hutch that we got i adopted a rabbit hutch from my neighbor not neighbor he lives that way 
And uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of room in it. So I'm just making something that we can, I'm gonna leave one end of this open so that we can just slide it right up to the new hutch. And then when we, cause we let our birds free range for the most part. So when they're not free ranging, they're like my ducks have a tractor pen. And I can I pull it to a new spot like every couple days, just move it forward with the four wheeler a little bit. And then they're on fresh new grass and they can dig up while they're locked away at night. And it helps till our garden up. Our yard has actually been a lot healthier. And they don't seem to leave a huge manure mess everywhere. So it works out. And I think part of why we don't have a huge manure mess in places is because we move them like every two or three days. And we only have two ducks left. We bought like two dozen ducks last year and ended up butchering a bunch of them. We only keep one drake and then the rest of the egg, like the rest of the females. And uh, I'm pretty sure one of our females like went for a walk and ended up in the woods and just disappeared. Something got her in the woods. Another one of our females was taken through the middle of the day. So now we only have Chester and Queenie for the ducks and we've got three Americana chickens. We do, we get just enough eggs for us and the neighbors. Now I just gotta put the wire on it. fight with this wire the whole time. family so let's make some happy birds
Wah. Those are Americana chickens. The wildest animal on the farm. And we have Queenie and Chester. I know, I'm not your human. You don't like me. <laughs> I can't believe you. Okay, I'm going to some fast pace outdoors. Let's make some happy birds. We already did that. <laughs> 